This is a demo of the FieldFX Sync integration. This is a tool that Act2 built to allow data to be synced between the FieldFX and Intax systems. Uh, the objects that are resynced include customer items and employees from Intact over to FieldFX, as well as project jobs, project contacts, and sales order work tickets from FieldFX back to Intact. Uh, data that originates from Intact will sync close to real time uh, within a couple minutes by way of Intact Smart Events, whereas data that originates from FieldFX will sync on a scheduled basis, but a dashboard can be installed to initiate the process right away. Let's start with the Intact side. I'm going to go ahead and create a customer here and an item and an employee and watch that sync over from Intact over to FieldFX. So let's start with a customer. and set the term and save this here. Now we'll go ahead and create an item. Give a record type associated from field effects and save this. And now we'll go ahead and create an employee. We'll create a contact record for this. associated location with this employee and give them a manager. We'll save that. For each of these records that gets created, it gets put into a queue here, this field effects queue. And a script will come around as soon as it gets put into a queue and process anything in this queue that needs to be processed. As you can see, our customer and item have already successfully been synced over. And now we're just waiting for the employee to sync. While that's getting ready, we'll go ahead and go to the field effects side. And if we check our accounts, we'll see our new customer here. It's A2 field effects one, and this external ID will match the intact customer ID. Same goes with items, which will come along as catalog items, our FX A2 item one here with the record type and the description, which will match the item name in intact. If we go back here and check the employee is ready. Process use can take up to a minute. We can see that it's now in progress and successfully synced over. And that'll come over as a contact. And here it is our employee A2 test here with a location associated with it. Now on the field of side, we can go ahead and create a job and see that sync over back to intact. So we'll give it a test name uh, associated with the location, a uh, price book that's in the field effects system, and we'll associate it with the customer that we just created. And once we save that, that is now in as a job in field effects. And like I said before, any data that originates in field effects will get processed on a scheduled basis. Uh, for now, I'm going to go ahead and kick that off manually. So 
that process is going. For processes like these that happen on schedule, we do have a field FX log. And we can see that right now it is processing the job. So we went to projects and we look at the field effects of the job number automatically associated is job 2023. And we can see here that this job is here with the auto generated project ID from Intact, but it also has the customer that we associated with it and it does create a ship to contact with any ship to contact information that we may have put into the job. So now we can try and bring this all together by creating a work ticket. First to do that, we need to get our item into a price book. So we'll come here to the price book builder. And we'll go ahead and add our, our item. This one right here. And we'll just give it a price of $50. Now that that's in a price book, we can go ahead and create the ticket. Create a new ticket. And we'll associate it with the job we just created. The technician with the employee we just created, the location with an intact location. We'll give it various bits of other data as you see fit and appropriate for your purposes. We'll go ahead and save that. Now we have a ticket in system, but no ticket items yet. So we're going to go ahead and create the ticket item so that we can associate our item with this work ticket. I'll give it a uh, the name associated with the ticket that we just created with the price book item that we just put into the price book. And we'll give it a price as well if we wanted to override the price. And we'll save that. And now if we go to the ticket, we see that we do have a work ticket with a line item. So in order for the work ticket to be synced over, we do need to edit this and change the status to ready for invoicing. That will signal the scheduler that comes around to say, okay, we have a work ticket here, ready for invoicing. Let's go ahead and bring that over to intact. And I'm going to go ahead and kick off that process manually. And now that's going. So we should be able to come to intact and see sales order for ticket ID T93, or sorry. T93, yes. So here's our sales order for ticket T93. If we view it, we have the customer that we created, the project that we created for it, um, contact information, the payment terms that went with the customer, as well as the item that we created and the price of $50. And so now that that's in the system, um, we've done syncing between the two systems, customers, items, employees, projects, and sales orders and that's that's pretty much what the main basis of what this integration does and everything is controlled by either a scheduler or smart events as well as our custom field effects queue and logs that log any data that goes back and forth thank you very much